Welcome to the broadcast of Love, Peace, and Happiness Family Christian Fellowship, a friendly church with multiple locations, Downey, Los Angeles, and Rialto. Now, let's join Bishop Leon Martin for a powerful message. God bless you, my friends, on this beautiful day. This is another great day that the Lord has made, and I'm going to rejoice today. I'm going to rejoice today. I'm not going to allow nothing to upset me today. I just decided I'm just going to be calm and relax. I'm not going to become irritable. I'm not going to become upset. I'm going to enjoy this day because God, made this day and everything God made it was good and I'm going to have a good day and I'm expecting you likewise to have a good productive day in the name of the Lord well this is yours truly Bishop Leon Martin of the love peace and happiness church you know it's always a joy uh, to come into your home your hospital room and your business share with you around the word of God Oh, what a joy. I'm enjoying uh, sharing and speaking into your life. And so many of you have been called in our prayer line. It's exciting to hear uh, what God is doing. And many of you making your requests. And I want you to know when you call our church and you call Bishop Martin Person, the prayer line, where we take your name and your number and all of the information. And we begin to pray. And one of my staff, it's going to personally call you back and uh, speak into your life and pray with you. You are so valuable to us. And we thank you for being a part uh, of our ministry. And some of you becoming uh, faithful uh, listeners and faithful uh, viewers of our telecast. And uh, we're excited. So we have some exciting things happening. I love Peace and Happiness Church because every Sunday is an exciting day. And every third Sunday... Uh, it's family day. All this past third Sunday, uh, I prayed for hundreds of children and, and young people. And the altar was just filled with people as they came forward. And Bishop had the opportunity to pray uh, for your children and your grandchildren. Uh, what a blessing. I, I said something. Uh, our children is our precious gift from God. And we, we recognize that. My children. Uh, God blessed me to have three lovely children. I have two sons, one daughter, and all of my children are involved in ministry and preaching the gospel of Jesus Christ. What a blessing. What a blessing. I want to pray for your children every third Sunday. Bring them, and Bishop is going to lay hands on us. Some of them is being controlled uh, by a spirit of rebellion. And uh, you know that the hand of God is on their lives. They've been called of God, but sometimes they be, have become distracted uh, by peer pressure. So we are standing in agreement with you concerning your family. And for the last several uh, telecasts I've been sharing with you that I'm praying for you that 2016 this year is going to be a great year. I want you to believe that. Uh, I said uh, last time, forget about your past, forget about last year. I want you to focus in on this year. You can't go back in 2015. I want you to look forward to what God's going to do for you this year. Paul says, forgetting those things which are behind. But rather I am pressing forward to those things which are before. Your future is ahead of you. Uh, your life is going to get better. Uh, your, your, your future is looking bright. You have to stand on this word and you have to confess the word daily. You have to pray daily and you have to meditate daily. I'm not going to meditate on negative things and doubt and fear, but rather I'm going to spend my time focusing in on the word of God. Do you realize the Bible says eyes haven't seen and ears haven't even heard? Neither has it entered into the hearts of men the great and wonderful things that he has in store for them that love him. If you love God, oh my friends, your, your life is going to get better. You're going to be amazed what God is going to do. Oh, I know you had some shipwrecks. I know you have made some mistakes. I know you made some wrong decisions. But aren't you glad that God is a God 
of us a second chance. Aren't you God? Aren't you glad that God really doesn't hold things against us? But he, he takes his eraser and he blot out all of my transgression and all of my iniquity. That's what David says. The Lord wash me, cleanse me, purge me, and created me a clean heart, O oh God, and renew a right spirit within us. I want you to stay focused this year. And Bishop Martin, I'm in agreement with you. And I believe that if you pray and I pray that your life is going to get better and better. How do I have a good year? Number one, I need to focus in on Matthew's chapter 6 and verse number 33. And Matthew 6 and 33 says, Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all of these things is going to be added unto you. Know what it says. If you want to have a productive year, seek ye first. Know what it says. I want to be first in your life. I don't want to be on the back burner. I don't want to be in the middle. I want to come and sit and rule on the throne of your heart. I want to be first. Uh, no, no, no. See, God wants to have first priority in your life. Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. So when a man heart is right with God, God is obligated to bless him. He says, if you walk right before me, I will withhold no good thing from you. If I just set my heart to do those things, which, which is right. Oh, I know we have done some wrong things. I know we made some mistakes. But you know, you and I have the privilege to go into the throne room of God and ask for forgiveness. If we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us of our sins. And he will cleanse us from all of our unrighteousness. That some of you are struggling on today with habits. You're struggling with unforgiveness. You are struggling uh, with lack of management. You're really struggling in your marriage with your children, on your job. Listen, I want to pray for you. That some of you right now just need God to help you to overcome those situations and challenges in your life. And if you have walked away for, from God, you say, Pastor, I know God. I once was connected to the church. I used to be pastor in the choir. I was on the earth board. Pastor, I was a deacon in my church. I was a deaconess. And I used to work with the children. But something has caused me to wander away for, from God. I'm even talking to a minister and a preacher and a pastor that once had a relationship with God. But you have allowed things to distract you from your calling. Are you listening to me? So God sent me to remind you that his hands is yet upon your life. Know what he says in the book of 1 John. If we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us of our sins. And look what he says. And he will cleanse us from all of our unrighteousness. He, whatever you have done, my friends, he would take your sins and he throws them in a sea called the sea of forgetfulness. And God says, I remember them no more. That's the kind of God we serve. Now, I want to pray for you. And if you tune into this telecast today, say, yes, pastor, I want to rededicate my life back to God. Pastor, I want to renew my fellowship with him. I have lost my joy. I don't have peace like I used to have. And I have one that away far from God. I have a habit. Seems like I can't break it. I'm bound. And I need the grace of God. I want to pray for you. I want you to bow your heads. And I want you to stretch your hand toward this telecast right now. And Father, I pray for every person that is tuned into this telecast that says, yes, I'm ready for change. I'm confessing I'm struggling. I'm confessing I've done some things wrong. I'm confessing that I'm challenged. God, forgive me. Repeat these words after me. Say, Lord Jesus, forgive me of all of my sins. And I'm sorry 
for the wrong things I said and the wrong things I've done. Come into my life. Save me. Cleanse me. Wash me. And make me whole. And I receive Jesus Christ into my life as my Lord and as my Savior. Thank you, Lord, for giving me another chance. Now listen, if you pray that prayer from the depths of your heart, every sin and every wrong deed you have ever committed has been erased. Now you have a brand new lease on life. What I want to do, and I'm going to do something very special just for you. I want you to go to the telephone, and I want you to call and dial Bishop Martin personal prayer line number. That's right. This is my personal prayer line number, and that number is 1-800-757-6552. 1-800-757-6552. When you call that number, if you can leave Bishop Martin your name, your address, your email address, your tel telephone number, and your zip code, and you say, Bishop, I just rededicated my life back to God. I have some free literature that I want to send you to help you with your walk with God. It's not about church membership. It's about relationship. And I want you to have a relationship with God. Oh, my friends, I said on the broadcast on yesterday, God did not design you to be a failure. He did not design you to be a flop in this life. Because everything God made, it was good. And you have to understand that inside of you is a potential and an ability that you know not of. Oh, my friends, when your life is in the hand of God, those gifts is going to be stirred up. And those talents and ability, like Paul wrote to Timothy, Timothy, stir up the gift that is lying within you. And some of you have gifts. You know you're supposed to be involved. You know the hand of God is upon your life. You say, how do you know, Pastor? Because every time you do something wrong, you get in trouble. Am I right about it? And you know the hand of God is on your life because many has been called, but few has been chosen. And I'm speaking to a chosen one on today. So you go to the telephone. And Bishop Martin is going to pray with you. My staff is going to call you. And I'm going to send you that information in the mail that's going to be a tremendous blessing to you. My telephone number is 1-800-757-6552. Because once you get connected to God and something happened, Nicodemus wanted to know, Master, how can I enter into the kingdom of God? Jesus told Nicodemus, you must be born again, not of flesh and blood, but of the spirit of God. In the book of 1 Thessalonians, book of 1 Thessalonians, it talks about in chapter 5, verse 23, that man is a tripart being. He is spirit, soul, and body. He is spirit, soul, and body. Man is a spirit that possesses a soul and he lives in a body. The most important part of man is the spiritual component. And when that spirit is connected to God, then what happens? Then I can hear the voice of God. Do you realize that God speaks to us through our spirit? He says, uh, as many that are led by the spirit of God, they are the sons of God. And he that have an ear, call oh yes, he that has an ear, let him hear what the Spirit is saying. Do you realize the Holy Spirit is able to lead you through life journey? It's the Holy Spirit that tugs on your heart. It's the Holy Spirit that keeps you from having shipwrecks in your life. So you want to be led by the Spirit of God. Now that my spirit man has been born again, now I need to work on my mind and my body. Since I have three components, my spirit is, is in line with the word. Oh, but what about my body? Oh, thank you for asking. I got to bring this body in line with the word of God. Paul said, mortify the deeds of the flesh. I cannot allow my flesh to go contrary to the word of God. Sometimes you got to tell your body you can't have that. You have to tell your body you can't go there. 
You have to tell your body, uh-uh, no, sir. I'm going to make sure that my body line up with my spirit. Are you listening to me? What about my mind? That's that soulless realm. My mind, my will, my intellect, my imagination. That's the soulless realm. And Paul made it very plain in the book of Romans. He said, be not conformed to this world, but rather be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind. I need to make sure that my body is in line with the word of God and my spirit is in line with the word and my soulless realm uh -huh, is in line with the word of God. Uh -huh. You really have to constantly deal with the mind and you don't be giving people uh, a piece of your mind. Oh, no, I'm going to give you peace of my mind. No, honey, you better try to keep all your mind because peace of mind nowadays is hard to find. So you don't give nobody no peace of your mind. You keep all your mind. You set your mind on things of Christ. You want to make sure your mind is thinking on things that is pure, things that is just, things that is holy, things of a good report. I want to make sure that I keep my mind stayed on him. If you keep Keep your mind stayed on him. He will keep you in perfect peace. What happened is we have a tendency to let our mind wander in other folks' business. What other folks is doing. You trying to handle your in-law's business. You trying to tell folks. No, just keep your mind focused in on God and you will keep the perfect peace. I just keep my mind. I don't worry about what other folks are doing. I want to make sure. I want to keep my mind on the word of God. God. I want to keep my ears in tune to what God is saying. Now listen to me. I want to talk to you very carefully is because some of you have to train your ears to hear the voice of God. Sometimes the spirit comes in a still small voice. He don't come in a loud grocery's voice. Sometimes he comes in a still small voice. But he said this, my sheep knows my voice and a stranger that will not follow. You can't listen to everybody's voice. Oh, I have to listen to the spirit of God. Oh, my friends, when God speaks to me, oh, I want to say yes to the voice of God. You have to train your children to recognize your voice. Sometimes you got to pick them up and sometimes you have to shake them a little bit and sometimes you got to sit there and discipline your child. Did you hear mom? Did you hear what I said? Are you listening to me? Or why are you ignoring me? What are you doing? You are training your child to recognize your voice. I tell every parent, when you tell your child no, no mean no. When you tell your child to sit, that means to sit. What are you doing? You are training your child to recognize your voice. A few years ago, I got a call that the mother was standing at the corner and she told her son to stop, stop. And he ran right into the street and got hit by a car because the mother did not train her child to recognize her voice. So sometimes we don't understand why God is telling us to stop. Don't do that because he's trying to prevent us from having danger and pitfalls uh -huh, and struggles in our lives. So when you hear the voice of God, recognize it and obey the voice of God. If you be willing and obedient, you're going to eat the good. Oh, I'm talking to somebody. If you be willing and you be obedient, you're going to eat the good of the land. See, God did not design you to be a failure. He says, Paul said, thanks be unto God, which always, which always causes me to triumph in him. Always. God will always cause me to triumph in him. I'm supposed to live a life of victory. And Paul said, thanks be unto God, which giveth us the victory through our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. So every once in a while, honey, you ought to lift your hands up like you making a V and say, I have the victim. Matter of fact, let us just practice it right now. Oh, I'm talking to you. I know you've been going through. I know your back is against the wall. I know folk lying on you, folk talking about you. But listen, you have the victory. Come on, lift that hand, make your V and declare, I have 
the victory. Oh, I know you feel so much better. Say it one more time. I have the victory. If you can say that daily, regardless what you're going through, regardless what the pains you're going through, I want you to begin to see your body being healed. I want you to see your family being restored. I want you to see your finances coming in line with the word of God. I want you to see your ministry flourishing because that's how God designed you. Now listen to me. Oh, I, I'm believing God. Listen, I'm so excited. I just feel my cup just bubbling over today. You know what I want you to do? I want you to partner with Bishop Martin. I really want you to become a partner in this ministry. And so many of you have been writing me and calling me how you enjoying this ministry. I want you to partner with me. And I'm believing in God to give me 300 partners on this week. That's right. I'm believing God on this week to give me 300 partners. That was the yes, Bishop Martin. I will plant a financial gift and a seed uh, into this ministry. Uh, and I'm excited because I believe that God is speaking to you. And when God speaks to you, you're going to hear his voice. Now, some of you say, here is $20, here is $30, here is $100 or even a thousand dollars. I just want to partner with you, Bishop. I know that you're doing a great work because you're reaching the unchurched, the untaught, and you're reaching the uncommitted. And I want to, I want to partner with you. I want the same anointing that's upon your ministry to fall upon my life and upon my business. Now listen to me. There is no gift that is too large or too small. I want you to obey the voice of God. I want to give a mailing address and you can sit down and write me. When you write me, tuck in those seven things that you believe in God for this year. And I'm going to pray. And if you desire a special prayer cloth, request that with your letter and your gift. I got a special prayer cloth that I want to send to you. It's going to be a blessing. So many people have received their miracles. They received their healing. And God want to do the same thing for you. My mailing address is Bishop Leon Martin. Post Office Box 995 Downey, California. That is Bishop Leon Martin. Post Office Box 995 Downey, California, 90241. Many times the devil will try to talk you out of this, but you got to hold your cords. Why? Because I'm, I'm planting a seed and I want to help this man of God and I want to partner with him to do what he's doing. And when souls get healed or delivered or set free, you know what's going to happen? You're going to be a part of that. And I need you to stand with Bishop Martin. He said, yes, I'm praying for you, Bishop, and Bishop is praying for you, and we're going to partner together, and God is going to do an awesome work in your life. I believe in the power of seed planting. For the Bible says uh, he gives seed. And he gives seed to the sower. Every seed bring forth after its kind. Are you listening to me? Every seed. So I know the system. I tell my congregation, learn the rules of this game and play to win. You have to learn how to function as a believer. I, I'm not controlled by this world system. But I'm going to put my little seed in the ground. And I'm going to confess over the seed. And God is going to multiply the seed that has been sown. Now you can't not allow the devil to talk you out of this. Let me give you my mailing address once again. That is Bishop Leon Martin. Post Office Box 995 Downey, California 90241. Or you can go to my website right on the left hand corner of my website lphfamily.org lphfamily.org there is a donation box you can go there you can use your credit card your visa your mastercard i want to be a partner with bishop Martin. now listen i have a few moments before i go off the air i want you to be my very special guest on sunday morning i'm telling you i would love to shake your hand and hug you and greet you in the name of the lord why not meet me sunday in the city of compton and I've come to the location for the early service. That service at 8 o'clock every Sunday morning. The address is 400 South Santa Fe. That's right, 400 South Santa Fe 
If you live in Carson, Long Beach, Linwood, Compton, you need to be at the Compton. It'll change your life. One service can change your very life. And then my friends, in the city of Los Angeles at eight o'clock, you that lives in Los Angeles, oh my friends, we're right on the corner, we're right on the corner of 50th and Figaro. You know what Figaro is at. Come on and join me. We'd love to have you. Bring the entire family. We got two services there every Sunday morning, the eight o'clock service, and the 1115 service. And all of our services are power packed with great praise and great music and you'll be tremendously blessed. And then my friends, in the city of Downey. Oh, if you're coming to Downey, just bring your shouting shoes. We're gonna have some church in the city of Downey. That address is 11022 Old River School Road. That's right near Firestone. Two great services in Downey. Oh, 9 o'clock and the 1115 service. Listen, it's been a real joy sharing with you around the word of God. And those of you that desire it, special prayer today, whether you're suffering with a physical challenge or emotional hurts, and sometimes people are struggling from emotional hurts. Sometimes it could be grief. It could be a loss of a loved one. You could have lost your job and you're still struggling, I want to pray for your healing. Some of you are need a financial healing. Go to that telephone number and call Bishop Martin. I want to pray with you. Your life will never again be the same. That telephone number once again is 1-800-757-6552. 1-800-757-6552. Now please don't forget, Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all of these other things is going to be added unto you. What am I going to do? I'm going to seek his face. If I'm not going to seek his hands, I'm going to seek his face. If I seek his face, God will extend his hand. Listen, friend, I'm out of time. Well, this is yours truly, Bishop Leon Martin, letting you know. Hey, your life is getting better and better and better. I love you with the love of the Lord. I meet you at the gathering. Have a blessed, wonderful day. You've just heard an uplifting message from Bishop Leon Martin, pastor of Love, Peace, and Happiness Family Christian Fellowship, one church with multiple locations. We invite you to visit our Downey location at 11022 Old River School Road near Firestone Boulevard. Our Sunday worship services are 8.30 a.m. and 10 a.m. with Sunday school at 9 a.m. and Sunday evening service at 4 p.m. Midweek services are Wednesdays at 7.15 p.m. You can also worship with us at our new Los Angeles location located 4951 South Figueroa Street, 49th and Figueroa. Our Sunday worship services are 11.15 a.m. with Sunday school at 9.30 a.m. Midweek services are Thursdays at 7 p.m. For more information concerning the Rialto location, call 909-829-7900. For more information on any one of our other services or how to get a copy of this broadcast, call the church office at 562-806-9890. For prayer, call 800-757-6552. Bishop Leon Martin, Pastor Carlos Martin, and the Love, Peace, and Happiness family would love to see you. People matter to God, and you matter to us, a caring Christian community. We hope to see you soon.